Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I know, I know, we've been super absent here on the vlog channel. We haven't uploaded in like, what, two weeks? But I promise I will explain to you guys why. And today is a very exciting day because today I have like my first official appointment. So if you guys have been following like me with my pregnancy through the beginning, you guys know that I did have an appointment, but that was kind of like to just get to meet my doctor and to confirm that I was pregnant. My first official appointment is today. And if baby A is not shy, today we get to know if it's a boy or a girl. So I'm so effing excited. You guys have no idea. I just want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Just so I can start buying like boy stuff or girl stuff. You know, that's why I'm like, I want to know. Are you a boy? Or are you a girl? Also, I have a lot of updates to tell you guys on. I just filmed it. Get ready with me on my main channel. If you guys want to go check it out, I will leave a link down below. And I just get ready with you guys and just talk to you guys and update you guys on what's been going on. But that is the plan for today. Today, guys obviously we are going to do a gender reveal we don't know if it's going to be something super intimate if we're gonna throw like a small party or like a big ass party we're still not sure but regardless of whatever we do for the gender reveal we will vlog everything for you guys because you guys are literally like family to us so I just wanted to go ahead and get the vlog started and welcome you guys and tell you guys that today is going to be a freaking exciting day the boys are already waiting for me in the truck so let's go ahead and let's go to my appointment and hopefully baby a is not shy and we can see if it's a boy or a girl. Liam, do you want to say hi to the chicas? Yeah. Say hi chicas. Hi. Do you think it's a boy or a girl, your sister or brother? A girl. You think a it's a girl? girl? Yeah. Really? Yeah. If it's a boy, are you going to love the boy? Yeah. If it's a girl, are you going to love her? Yeah. Yeah. Aww. So Liam says he thinks it's a girl. I have like the mommy feeling. I feel like it's a girl. Like something tells me it's a girl, but what if it's not a girl? So I'm sorry, like, I I'm feel sorry like to bring it to you, babe, but I think it's a boy. You think it's a boy? Jason keeps telling me he thinks it's a boy. I think it's a girl. Liam thinks it's a girl. Everyone on your family, right? Keeps saying team girl. Yeah, Everyone's team like, girl. I think it's a girl. I think it's a girl. His mom is like, it's a girl. But right now we are on our way to get some breakfast tacos and then we're gonna drop off Liam at his grandma's house because we actually can't take him to our doctor's appointment. They don't allow any kids. So we're gonna drop him off at his grandma's house just for a little bit, then we're gonna pick him up and then we're gonna go from there. And if today we get to see if it's a boy or girl today, we're gonna decide if we are going to do a super intimate or something big for the gender reveal, right? Yeah. It all depends after today's Mama. appointment. We just dropped off Liam, just got here to the appointment. I'm super excited. Hopefully Jason can record whenever they're doing like the ultrasound and stuff like that, but I'm excited, let's go. A few moments later. Guess what guys, we just left the doctor and they weren't able to squeeze me in for an ultrasound there was too many people scheduled for ultrasounds and she was like i'm so sorry but like if i squeeze you in i'm gonna have to back up everyone she's like so you know what i'm just going to schedule you for tomorrow so then we can do your ultrasound tomorrow and when she told me that guys i was like oh no but it's okay everything happens for a reason and it's just tomorrow so i'll be fine you know it would have been worse if she'll be like two or three weeks you know but it's only a day so we'll be good so tomorrow hopefully if the baby's not shy again that's that's another thing imagine that we go tomorrow and then the baby's like shy and we can't see and then we have to wait another week oh my god so i'm praying that tomorrow is the day when we walk out of the doctor with a little envelope knowing if it's a girl or a boy and i already know i'm gonna keep the envelope to myself guys because jason his little sneaky but i already know he's gonna try to put it like against the sun or something so i'm gonna keep the envelope to myself anyways tomorrow is the big day and right now we came to this supermarket that i like to come because guys i have been craving ramen noodles so bad you guys have no idea and this market here guys has such a great variety of noodles and Liam started getting into ramen noodles as well so he usually eats like the maruchan brand but we discovered a new brand here and he's been loving them he was like mommy can we go to the market and buy some more noodles so that's what we're gonna do for right now guys I'm gonna get down and go buy my noodles you see guys they have so much ramen here I love coming to this freaking market because they have everything and I'm gonna show you guys Liam's favorite noodles in a bit these are the ones that i just tried for a mukbang that i uploaded on my main channel but i think i'm going to try this one the carbo one the sam yang because i tried some um rice cakes from this brand and it was really good so i think i'm going to try this one actually i came to my nail appointment i had a nail appointment today and i am in need of a new set bish because i've been having these nails for about a month and a week i think for a very long time i had like this pink um set that i really loved but i'm not sure what color or what i'm gonna get for today 
but I'll show you guys what my nails look like at the end. Bam, look at my new set of nails. I am obsessed, guys. Look how pretty they are. I feel like a brand new woman. What do you guys think? I'm like obsessed with them. It has like glitter, flowers, a little bit of nude going on. I love them. You got it? I'm gonna show you guys the noodles, the ramen noodles that Liam has been obsessed with. They are these. They look like this. Liam has been obsessed with these guys. I got him two packs, right Liam? I got him two of these yeah. because he's like obsessed with them. So that's gonna be Liam's dinner. You're not gonna want burgers? Um, what, what, what the burgers. I don't want anything. You don't want any burgers? What? So we're gonna make burgers for dinner Mom, for us. Mom, is it like tomato? Tomato, lettuce, bread, mayonnaise, and the patty. Um, a burger. A burger? Okay, so we're gonna skip on the ramen, and it looks like we're gonna have burgers. All yeah. of us, burgers yeah. for dinner! Yes, Yay! dinner! We are watching Holes while we're getting down in the kitchen. Look at you getting down and cooking. Yeah! yeah. Get you a Jason, honey! Yeah. <laughs> So we're making burgers for tonight. We have everything laid out here. I am working on the burger patties and oh my God, it smells so good. I'm so ready to start making these burgers. Bam, burgers are done. We are ready to eat dinner, guys. We'll see you guys when we're done eating. The next morning. Hey guys, today is the day. Hopefully, cross your fingers, that today we get to know the gender of baby A. I woke up super early, guys. I am tired. Like, you probably can't see it because I have like a full face of makeup on, but you can probably hear it in my voice. I am so tired, guys. I have been waking up like around 7 a.m. every single day, and insomnia has been hitting me hard, guys. I don't know if this is a thing with pregnancy. I'm going to ask my doctor today if it's normal to have like insomnia at night because like my body wants to sleep but like my mind doesn't let me go to sleep so I end up going to sleep super super late guys and then I wake up super early and in the morning I regret it but it's not something that I can control I just have like insomnia and can't go to sleep for some reason the boys are already waiting for me outside again today Liam is not going to stay with his grandma today he's gonna stay with his grandpa with my dad actually because everyone else is working and my dad is the only one that can take care of him so Liam's excited to stay with his grandpa while we go to the doctor I just dropped off Liam at my dad's work and now we are outside of the office I'm just sitting here waiting for a couple more minutes to go in, but I am super excited to go in and to see the baby. First of all, I'm excited to see the baby. I want to see how big the baby looks because according to my app, the baby is now the size of a mango. And I also want to hear the heartbeat because the first time that I came, guys, um, they did the ultrasound just to make sure I was pregnant and all that stuff. And she did tell me that I was going to hear the heartbeat, but I think she forgot. So today I'm excited to hear the heartbeat. You know, like I did like the one that you do at home, but it's not the same to like the one they have here in the office. So I'm excited to hear the heartbeat and to get to see the baby and to see how big the baby is. Guys. Guys, we have the result. In this envelope, guys, it says it's a boy or it's a girl. It is sealed. No, it is Ooh, sealed. The guys, teeth. the baby was not shy. I have to show you guys pictures of the ultrasounds when I get home. But this baby is so active. You guys have no idea. When she was doing the ultrasound, the baby's like this. Moving. Oh, he Give gave me it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Yeah. yeah. And she was like, okay, she's like, I'm gonna look between the legs, so close your eyes. She's like, don't even try to babe, count the letters. Babe, I was low-key peeking. Ah. No, you weren't. Shut up. I don't up. know, man. I don't know. I don't know. And right now, it's like, baby, I mean, we don't need a gender reveal. You can just open <laughs> we it. We can just open it right now, but. Should we? No, wait. We have to wait for Liam. Liam was so excited when I left him at my dad's job, guys. He was like, go, mommy, go. Go check on the baby. Go check on the baby. So we don't know if we're going to open it with Liam when we get home. Home, or we're gonna give it to Jason's sister so she can plan something like super intimate for us We're so not sure but I am just so shocked that we were able to see The baby and know the gender because not a lot of people get lucky with like the first time Maybe a lot of people have to like come back. Yeah, yeah like for shy sure, and for crossing sure. their legs. So we got so lucky. She said the baby's looking good Everything's looking fine. The baby's healthy super active. We got to see like the features, right? Yeah, the face. She's like, oh my god. We'll baby. show you guys later whenever yeah. we get home. But oh she's my like, god, baby has big ears and like all of this stuff. And I was like, oh my god. I always wanted to cry, guys. We didn't record because we were so 
I wanted like, to enjoy excited. I wanted to enjoy yeah, the every moment single little moment I was just like taking it in guys and like right now like I'm even shaking because I'm so excited and I can't wait like it doesn't matter if it's a boy I'm fine if it's a girl it's fine because we're still super young and we're gonna have more kids in the future so we'll Ooh, be fine. more kids Shut well, two, up. <laughs> two more four more <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys, we're gonna go pick up Liam. We're gonna show Liam the ultrasound pictures and me and Jason We're just gonna talk on the way to pick up Liam just to discuss what we're gonna do Okay guys, so I just got home and I was super excited to show you guys the ultrasound pictures So okay, these are a couple of the pictures that she printed out for us First of all guys, I had such a beautiful experience when it came to this ultrasound Like I don't know the girl was just so nice. She explained everything to us She printed out so many pictures and this is one of the pictures guys you guys can see baby a Okay, you can see the ear, the chin, the nose, and the eyes. Oh my god! And then here, as you guys can see, that's the little head, and then the body. This is one of my favorite pictures. I love how it looks. And then this is another picture that she printed out for us. You guys can kind of see, I think that is like the hand or something, but you can definitely see the nose, the eyes, and like the head and everything. But I love these pictures. I definitely have to go look for a frame so I can cut all them and then put them in a frame. They're so beautiful. Guys, you can feel the tension in this house right now. Let me just open it. <laughs> guys. It is so hard to not open this envelope right here. I'm telling Jason, I was like, let's just open it. Let's just open it. Let's just film our reaction right now. And let's just see if it's a boy or girl. I dead ass was going to go upstairs to compare Leo, this. Oh, no, Leo, you know. Oh my God, no. I want to see if it's a girl or a boy. You see what I'm dealing with right now, guys? This is, the, my anxiety is through I the roof, the, guys. I want to see if it's a girl or boy. No, you have to wait. I want to. No. This is so hard. Someone please come take this envelope away from us. <laughs> it's getting so crazy in this house. I don't want to. No, we have to wait. No. Do you guys see? We're all so excited. We're like, we don't know how to act right now because we just want, look at Jason. He's like, give me the envelope. Give me the envelope. <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong, Liam? Tell me what's the matter. Liam, get the Ennis. Are you sad? Or are you mad? What's wrong? Tell me. If you tell me, maybe I can help you. What's wrong? You want to open the envelope? But we can't open it. We have to wait. No. I feel you, baby. I feel the exact same way inside. <laughs> but we have to wait. Are you really that upset? Are you mad? Honey, it's going to be okay. <laughs> So I think at the end of the day, guys, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna give the envelope to Jason's sister, do something super small just for us three. And then she can record our reaction. I don't remember being this impatient with Liam. Do you remember? I was never this impatient with Liam, but there's just something in me that just wants to tear that envelope it's and just you see. Want a girl, babe. I know you no, want a girl. it's because I wanna know what my baby is. Like I already wanna know. Want Am I gonna have three boys? Is it gonna be two and two? Ooh. And I'm not gonna be outnumbered no more? <laughs> or am I gonna have three boys? I don't know. But I think at the end of the day, guys, it's just gonna be us three. But for now, who knows what it's gonna be. Here's the thing. I went over to the garage because I needed to go ahead and get um, the storage bin that I need to put all the Christmas decor away because I need to put up all of my Christmas decor away guys because I have a friggin mess So I went over to the garage and then I saw my Barbies and my photo album that I brought from my mom's house from last week So I went to my mom's house last week and I found all of my Barbies that I had from when I was little So these Barbies guys, I bought them at a garage sale once they are Barbie collections So these are super vintage Barbies from like 1987 1988 so i got these rubbers out of the garage so i never opened them the box was like brand new i never opened them because i was like they're gonna lose value and they look so pretty so i always kept them in a box um but when i moved um from my mom's house i forgot to bring them with me so my mom put them away and like a bag for me and with time obviously the box got ruined so I went and I found my Barbies and I was like, oh my god, mom, you have my Barbies. And I brought them here to the house and I left them in the garage. But the box is like super old, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of the box and I'm going to put them in my beauty room because they're memories and it just like brings me back so many good memories. And 
I also have my photo album of when I was little and I want to show you guys pictures of when I was little because I don't know Jason says I kind of still look the same I feel like I kind of look the same but I changed a little bit and I also feel like I, Liam kind of looks like me when I was little but let me show you guys okay so these are super old pictures guys um, that is me <laughs> I really wish my mom still had some of my clothing in case I had a girl one day like you know so I can put her on my baby girl but she doesn't have any of my clothing. And then this is me again. I was in the zoo here. Oh my God, who is she? Bish, am I wearing a red jacket with some pink pants and these bulky white shoes? My mom did a horrible job at dressing me. <laughs> um, let's see. And then here I am again. That's me. Ooh, I had a little hairstyle going on. That's me again. Oh my God, I was so little. And then this is me. Do you guys see? That's me right there. I was super, super, super little. And then these are my um, school pictures. Yes, modeling since day one, girl. <laughs> Talking about modeling, is there a picture here? That's me when I was little too. Um, let's see, there's a picture where I'm modeling. Like, dude, who is that? Like, how old was I there? And I was already, oh my God, these chanclas, dude. <laughs> what are those? Uh, here, let me find a picture of when I was like, mod okay, look here. Bish, I was already like working. What kind of pose is that? <laughs> oh my God, look, look at this one. That's a good one. And then this one is the one that almost everyone loves, but I'm not gonna show it because like, I'm just wearing little chonies, but that's me posing. What do you think? And then there's another one of me here. And last but not least, that's me and Six Flags. My hair look fine? I think my hair looks fine. Today has been a bad hair day. Anyways, guys, so we came to a conclusion, me and Jason, we were arguing, not arguing, but like, you know, like talking and like, you know, stuff like that. We were talking for hours and I'm not gonna lie, guys, I was this, this close to opening the envelope. I know, I'm so ashamed of myself. Not proud of it, but <laughs> it's because I had the envelope in my hand, guys, and it was just like, it's here, it's here, like I can just already know. And I know you guys are probably like, damn Peter, like, oh my God, we get it, you wanna know? But like, you guys don't know, like I wanna know, like am I gonna have another baby boy? Um, because if I'm gonna have another baby boy, I can still do some shopping, but I really won't go as crazy because I have a lot of clothes left over from Liam when he was little. And you guys know, if you have kids or you've been around kids, you guys know, that when they're little, they wear the clothes like two or three times and they basically leave it like brand new, right? Um, but if I have a girl, I'm gonna go crazy and y'all better take my credit card away from me <laughs> because I'm gonna start from scratch, you know? So like, I just wanna know also so I can start looking for names. It's not that I, like, you know what I mean? Like, I really don't care for like the gender. Well, I mean, obviously I do because I wanna know, but it's not that I want a girl or I want a boy. Like, as long as my baby is healthy and perfectly fine, that is all that matters. You guys don't know what a relief I felt in my heart when the nurse told me everything looks fine, baby's perfectly good and healthy. Like, that was like, a weight lifted off my shoulders and I feel like I'm not going to be like like okay everything's okay until I see my baby until I have my baby in my chest that's when I'm gonna be like okay now I can relax but for the meanwhile I'm always freaking out like oh my god is the baby okay like oh my god are you moving like why are you not moving right now like I freak out you know and so, um, I just want my baby to be perfectly fine and healthy, but I just want to know if I'm going to have a little boy or a little girl. Like, I'm just happy and excited, you know? Um, but yes, we came to a conclusion, guys. And we were going to do a gender reveal this upcoming weekend in a couple of days. But a lot of our family members weren't available to come to the gender reveal this weekend. So then now we have to push it back till next weekend. And Jason's sister is going to come pick up the envelope tomorrow because if she leaves me the envelope for an extra week, a bitch is gonna lose it and I'm just gonna open the envelope. I know myself. So she's gonna come pick it up tomorrow, take it with her, buy everything that she needs for the gender reveal. And we're just going to do something super small, just our immediate family. It's not going to be like some, something super like big and crazy, just like something small. And we were going to do something like a scavenger hunt and something like that, but Jason wants to make things like a little bit bigger. Like we saw something and we loved it, so we're going to do something similar to that. But you guys will have to wait till the gender reveal to see how we surprise you guys and tell you guys the gender and all that stuff. But obviously, Jason's sister is going to order 
either pink or blue because we have like no idea so stay tuned for that so we're thinking of having it either saturday or sunday we're still not sure one of those two days we're still i'm going to talk about that today but we're going to try to edit the video that same day and upload it for you guys asap so you guys can have it up right away because i know you guys are like anxiously waiting to know like is it a girl is it a boy i posted <laughs> the ultrasound pictures on my instagram stories and on my snapchat and you guys are going insane you guys are like it's definitely a boy it's definitely a girl <laughs> and my dad today um i was like i have the results right here because when i went to go pick up liam i was like i have the results right here and then he like um sent me a message later when i got home he was like you know what tortuga because he calls me turtle tortuga he's like you know what tortuga you don't gotta tell me it's a girl i just know it like whenever i go and i see the pink i'ma let you know like i knew it i was the first one to call it <laughs> And I was like, oh, okay, if you say so. So I feel like it's 50-50. A lot of people say boy, a lot of people say girl. Whatever it, whatever it is, I'm perfectly fine with that. But yeah, guys, overall, really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can be part of the family. And we will see you guys on the next vlog. Bye, guys.